focus on my face. Hello? Focus on my face. Hello? Hello? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This hair is, um, it's what we're working with today. I can't really be bothered. I feel like when I sit down to film is when I always look the least put together and then when I'm not going anywhere, I'm just home, somehow my hair just looks fabulous on its own. It's always like that. But anyways, the point of today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full face using milk makeup. I've been wanting to make this video for a really long time. There are a few products that I use all the time for milk makeup that I absolutely love, like the Kush Mascara, the Kush Brow Gel, and the Flex Concealer. I do have a lot of other products that I haven't tried out yet, some things that I have tried, but I'm gonna put all of them together to create a full face. The only thing is, I've realized, I don't really have eyeshadows, and that's the only thing I'm missing. We're gonna get creative and see what I can come up with, but for the most part, I think I have everything else. If you are interested, keep on watching, let's get into it. All right, welcome to my face and my dark circles. Why does it look like I haven't slept for like two weeks? To start off, I'm gonna be taking the cooling water. This is gonna help soothe, invigorate, and hydrate the skin. It has seawater and caffeine, and you guys know I'm all about the caffeine life, so I'm Oh dang, that actually feels so good. I don't think I've tried this product out, but I'm just gonna rub this everywhere, even underneath the eyes. It kind of feels cool to the touch. I guess that's the point. And then I'm gonna gently massage this into my skin. For my primer, I'm taking the good old blur stick and I'm going to run this all over my face because I got pores everywhere. I'm also focusing it on areas that I get some creasing sometimes from expression lines. Again, I'm just using my fingers to kind of just disperse the product a little bit better. Okay, so on to the fun part, which is foundation. I did make a video testing this out like a long time ago. I don't remember it completely, but I do remember I didn't hate it. I just know the color was really off for me. I think I used a shade light. It was too dark and orangey. They did come out with more shades, which I'm very excited to try out. I don't know which one is going to match me. To be honest, it looks like light is going to be a little bit better for me now because it is summertime. I did get a little bit of color and these look a little bit too fair. I don't know. What do I do? This right here is the new shade in creme, which is really nice because it's more like neutral based. This is fair, which has a little bit more pink tone to it. And then light is a little bit more warm. I'm thinking of mixing light and creme together. I feel like that might give me a good shade I don't know we're gonna experiment like I have a lot of olive tones in my skin so a lot of the times it's hard to find foundations that really cater towards that it's either cool or warm there's no olive I mix the two shades on the back of my hand this is quite a bit of foundation but I'm really hoping the shade looks good on my skin I'm gonna have to experiment with the ratios later but let's just let's just put foundation on I forgot how full coverage this foundation is oh my god a little goes a very long way you guys oh my goodness I look a little terrifying on camera. In real life, it actually doesn't look that bad. I do need some like dimension in my face like ASAP, but the color matches my neck pretty well. But since my body is a little bit more tan, you know, summertime, um, I'm definitely gonna warm up the skin, add bronzer. So this is not what we're gonna leave it at, but for the most part, looks really, really good. I'm gonna be using the Flex Concealer in the shade Fair. I actually really do love this concealer a lot. This is one of my go-to concealers. Ooh. The shade actually goes with the foundation really well. It's almost like an exact match. I really don't even need concealer anywhere else on my face because this foundation is so full coverage. Everything is covered. I'm gonna go back into my Le Sponge and just blend this concealer out. Like it blends so nicely. It's like butter. I I freaking love this concealer. So before I set my face, I'm gonna do some cream contouring. This is the matte bronzer stick in the shade Baked. I've never used this before and I'm actually really excited. If you guys know me, you know, I don't really like cream contour very often, so uh, I'm not really that great at it, but we really need some dimension and warmth into the skin, so I'm excited. I'm not gonna lie, this looks a little intimidating at the moment. I'm just gonna go into it. Oh, okay, that's not too bad actually. Oh my god, do you know what this smells like? It smells like Play-Doh, but in the best way possible. Like, really nostalgic. Oh my god, I love the smell of Play-Doh. Maybe that's just me, but... Mmm. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna take my sponge and start blending this out. I think because the foundation isn't set, it's kind of helping blend that bronzer into the skin. It actually looks really pretty. It's a lot more subtle than I thought, but it, like, blends out really nicely, which excites me, so... 
it's not scary anymore. I freaking love this thing so much. Oh my god, it just blended out so nicely and it looks smooth on the skin. Like you honestly can't tell that I have so much makeup on my face right now, but it looks beautiful. It blends out like butter. It's not as intimidating as it may look in the stick, but I don't cream contour, but I might just start because of this. I also have these lip and cheek sticks that I'm gonna use as my blush. I think I might go into the shade Perk. I don't know, this one is calling my name. If you guys follow me, you know I don't really use a lot of cream products and right now, the fact that I haven't set my face yet but I'm already doing like my bronzer and my blush, I'm a little panicked, but I mean everything looks really, really good so far. Um, if I have to go over my blush when I do my powder after, I might tap a little bit more on, we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna take the shade Perk and finger? Finger. Finger? I guess let's start with the finger. I'm going to just... Okay, so just like the bronzer, these like look super crazy and bright, but once you literally put it on your skin, it's like pretty sheer and subtle, so you can build it up really nicely. Like that already looks so cute. This might be crazy, but I'm just gonna go on the actual cheeks with it. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and just gently press that into my skin. I like this. Tell me I don't look super fresh and adorable right now. Like my skin is glowing, that little blood. Oh, I love this. Am I going to wear cream products a lot more now? Who am I? My skin looks so beautiful. Like I don't even want to set it and that's like crazy talk for me. But it just looks so glowy and natural. But I know I'm going to crease. Also, Milk Makeup just came out with a new powder that I'm like dying to test out. So this is the Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. I'm so excited to test this out. I'm going to be using the shade Light. This is cruelty-free, paraben-free, 100% vegan, talc-free, silicone-free, and dimethicone-free. That's freaking awesome. Comes in three shades. You have medium and deep as well. I might go into deep and see if I can use that as a bronzer if we need it. Maybe. We'll see. But I'm going to take the shade light for my full face. It comes with a little sponge on top and it has like that area that you can open and close to keep your like powder inside your little container and not all over the place. It's one of like those mesh fabric sifters. Oh my god, it's so soft. I have some of the powder on my sponge. I'm going to press that underneath my eyes. Okay, this hair is like actually out of control, but face is set. It actually looks so pretty. It's super smooth on the skin. It doesn't look super cakey or powdery. It didn't do anything like weird with the foundation or underneath my eyes with the concealer. It looks gorgeous. So far, like first impression with this powder, I really, really like it. Of course, I'm going to be wearing my makeup like all day-ish, so I'll leave you guys a note down below on how it wears, but so far, wow, like this powder actually looks so pretty. Like, I look flawless, poreless, it's not cakey, it's not dry. Yay. I'm going to gently dip into the shade Deep with my little contour brush. I'm going to take a little bit of powder, and I'm going to kind of use this as like a bronzer because I feel like I need a little bit more color in my skin. So I'm just going to... Oh, okay. Alrighty. Oh yeah, this actually worked out so nicely. Like I have some color back into my skin and because it's also like the blur and set powder It's gonna go on so fine and so smooth like it looks super pretty. Oh my god Honestly when I sat down to film this video I was really not expecting it to go as smoothly and as wonderfully as it is going right now Like my skin looks beautiful I was like a little worried because there's like a lot of like cream products and a lot of products that I don't see myself using all the time But honestly, whatever I've used so far I really really love even like the cream blush the cream contour everything like that like I'm so happy like my skin looks so flawless right now. now let's move on to brows I'm gonna be trying out this brow pencil in the shade Pilsner This is the gel brow and honestly, I think this pencil is gonna be a little bit too dark I feel like I had a lighter shade, but I may have misplaced it So I'm gonna just gently focus this on like the outer parts of my brow But mostly go in with the Kush brow gel in the shade Dutch, which I've been loving and using every day So starting with the pencil, I'm going to just gently run this through my brows just give it a little bit of a defined look. This pencil also has like a little spoolie on the end, which is great because honestly, like it looks like a really dark shade, but when you apply it, it's pretty subtle and it kind of has like this creamy gel consistency that kind of helps your eyebrows stay in place. So I don't know, actually this, this doesn't look half bad. I really like this a lot. Now I'm taking the Kush brow gel and just running this through my entire brow. 
I can't believe that I totally skipped highlighter. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Milk Makeup has some really funky, cool cream highlighting sticks, but I feel like personally, cream highlighters are like the one cream product that I have the most trouble with, only because when I wear it underneath my powder on my foundation, it kind of gets covered up with powder later and if I put it on top of my powder, a lot of them kind of like break up my foundation Especially if I'm going for like a full coverage look So what I didn't know you guys was that Milk Makeup actually has pressed powder highlighters that are inspired by their cream highlighters For example, this is in the shade Mars and this is in the shade Mars So this is what I'm gonna use today and I'm so excited. I haven't even swatched this. It's kind of like this peachy light gold but it has a pink shift to it so it's definitely like a funky highlighter it's not like an everyday situation but who knows what it's gonna look like on the skin i'm gonna swatch it with my finger first okay oh that is really pink i don't know if you guys can see that it looks like it's gonna be a pretty subtle highlighter but it also has a very strong pink duochrome to it so this is gonna be really interesting i'm gonna take my bh 140 highlighting brush of course what's new are we ready? I actually don't hate this. Uh, you guys know I don't really like go for like unnatural highlight shades very often. But this one is so interesting because that peachy tone to it kind of gives it a very natural skin-like appearance. If that makes any sense. But when your cheek catches the light, it's catching like that pinky duochrome. And it just looks really pretty. I don't, oh my god. I actually really like this a lot. I thought it was going to be a little too out there for me. I don't know about putting this like on my nose per se, but like on the cheeks, this is, ooh. I really like that. And it kind of looks like blush too, a little like on the apples of your cheek. It looks like I have like rosy cheeks because of that pink. I'm actually digging this a lot. And it looks really pretty on the skin too. It's not like... A chunky highlighter it's not glittery just kind of blend to the skin really really nicely like I mentioned I don't have eye products so we're about to get really creative and uh, use some unconventional ways to do the eyes today I have no idea how this is gonna turn out we're gonna do something pretty simple but I'm gonna take the matte bronzer with a little fluffy brush and I'm going to apply this to my crease I'm going to go into the deep powder with my mysterious morphe blending brush and i'm going to apply this to my crease i'm going to go back into the same mars highlighter we put on our cheeks and i'm going to just pop this on my lids so it's a pretty soft subtle look but i think since we use like our cheek products on our eyes i kind of think it ties in together really really nicely so i'm going to finish off the eyes using the milk makeup kush mascara absolutely love this mascara i use this all the time eyes are done i know it's like super simple and boring but this is generally what i do on a daily basis i just pop a little shimmer on the lid throw some mascara on and i call it a day signature just look even though it's like very soft and subtle it gives you like that very young and fresh look and i'm all about that so now we have the lips this is the milk makeup lip color in the shade cream absolutely love this i can't find my old one thank god i have a backup but this is like the perfect just shade it's a brand new tube so beautiful to look at but these are so pigmented and creamy they feel really good on the lips they're like those like jumbo pencils i really love those very quick and easy so uh Put it on. One of the products I was most excited to use today, I almost forgot to put on my face, you guys. I think these are one of the coolest products out there. They're these adorable little stamps that you just like press onto your face, your eyes, your body, like wherever you want to put them. You have a heart, a moon, a star, yin yang, peace sign, a little plus or X. I don't know where I want to put it or which one I want to use, but I know I want to put one on my face. I think since we have like a very soft, cute look today, I'm going to go with the heart and I'm going to pop it like right on the corners of my eyes and hope I don't mess this up. I'm going to do a little practice on the back of my hand. <gasps> look how cute that is! Who here goes nothing. I'm literally going to be holding my breath. Oh my goodness. They're so cute! <gasps> I love that. I am very ready to like cover my entire face with this to be honest. I'm gonna do one on this side. 
I love it. So now we can officially say we have heart eyes. All right, you guys, so that is a full face using Milk Cosmetics. I'm not gonna lie, this came out a lot better than I was expecting. I'm a happy camper. Honestly, I don't think I have anything negative to say with any of the products I've tried today. I'm really, really happy with everything I used besides the lip product, mascara, brow gel, and the concealer that I always use and love. I have discovered some new favorites, first thing being the brow pencil. I really love the formula of these. I'm gonna try to track down like the lighter shade, but although I do feel like this one matches pretty well, it just has like such a cool formula. It's like gel, it feels like a pomade, but it's like not so overboard and it kind of makes your brow hairs kind of like stick together and kind of like tames them really nicely. Also, I really love this matte bronzer stick. It's in the shade of baked. Like I, I'm definitely gonna use this again. It's so good. It's so easy to use. Like I can't get over it. If it's just proof, like, I feel like anyone can use it. And lastly, this powder. Like, honestly, I feel like I'm going to be reaching for this a lot. It's a dang good one. I look so smooth. I have tried this foundation before, and honestly, I don't remember it looking this good. I do feel like the powder plays a big part of how my complexion looks the softest, smoothest, most perfect that it's looked in a long time. So, yeah. I'm really happy about this baby and yeah, I'm happy with everything. Like, this was great. I had so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Let me know what milk makeup products are your favorites and I will check them out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Messy Jesse Beauty, Snapchat, Jessie Jed, Instagram, Makeup by Jessie. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so before you go. I'd appreciate it so very much. And also hit that little bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.